Hi, this is Mike Brightman with Bright Ideas Consultants, a Google authorized training center. You can check us out online at www.brightideasconsultants.com. There you can sign up for our free SketchUp 101 class. Welcome to the second installment of our Bright Idea video series. Today we're going to take a look at how we can use SketchUp, Google Earth, and Layout to expedite the process of creating as built drawings. The reason I developed these techniques is that I found it's very difficult to go to the field with a blank piece of paper and generate a sketch from scratch uh, that is correctly proportioned and scaled. So we're going to use the Google 3D tools to generate that site plan before we go to the field. The first step is to jump into Google Earth and pick a site. I already have a site picked out so I'm just going to double click on my Denver Colorado site here and now you can see we have this building all set up so after we've zoomed in on our site we can always hit R and that will reorient your view to be directly overhead with your nor north arrow straight up in the air let's jump back into SketchUp and go to tools Google Earth and get current view when we get the current view SketchUp communicates with Google Earth, imports a one-to-one -one real world scale site image so now what we can do is use our measurement tool and you can see we can actually measure this at a one-to-one -one real world scale so in my measurements dialog box down there in the bottom right hand corner you can see it's about 155 feet long 56 feet okay so let's use our rectangle tool and just sketch over this building footprint and generate that plan so I'll just use my rectangle tool and sketch over these different masses and it doesn't have to be super accurate because we're actually going to take those measurements once we get into the field anyway All right, so now we can just use our eraser tool and scrub over those guys and then push pull that up. Let's just give it a height of about 15 feet. Let's take a sidestep and take a look at a trick you can use to generate a color image. So I'm going to jump back into Google Earth. And this is actually maximized on my screen because we don't want to disrupt that image. So I'm going to go to File, Save, and choose Save Image. So I know you guys can't see that, but it's under the file menu, save, and then choose save image. And we're going to save it at the screen resolution and click on save. And then I'm going to put this into my temp folder. And uh, we're going to call it Google Earth Site Color. And we'll go ahead and save that guy. Next, let's jump back over into SketchUp, use our paint bucket tool, and take a look at the materials in our model and here's our Google Earth snapshot we can highlight that and then choose edit and let's repath our image our texture image to our desktop temp folder under Google Earth site color and when we do that now we have a color site instead of a black and white so that's a little trick you can use uh, also a good presentation technique when you're using these images in a presentation alright so next let's go to window scenes and let's set up a site plan or just a plan scene so that we're all set up when we get into layout so we're gonna add a scene and let's call this one plan and then let's make sure that on our plan scene we are saving our camera location and then let's go to camera standard views top and then camera parallel projection and that's gonna set up a perfect 2d line drawing now we're going to right click on our plan and let's update that guy and we can now close out of our scenes. Now we're going to save this drawing because we always need to save it first before we can send it to layout and I'll just throw this in my temp folder that's fine and then let's choose file send to layout. When I click on send to layout this automatically opens up this templates dialog box in layout and here I can choose from all kinds of different title blocks today we're just going to use a plain paper set up at a portrait and I'll say open so it's at an eight and a half by eleven letter size portrait orientation and now we have our SketchUp model set up on here so I can just right click on this guy and choose edit 3D view and you can actually look into that SketchUp model and see the the 3D but when we click in the gray it's going to re-render that view so the easiest way though to set up your view is to simply right click and go to scenes and we'll set up our plan scene so now we have our plan scene next we can right click again go to scale and let's set this to one inch equals fifty feet and there we go now our building site is set up on here to scale and now what we can do is use the new dimension tool in layout so let's first take a look 
at our dimensions palette. So here's our dimension palette and we'll activate our dimension tool and we want this to be an architectural type dimension and we want it to be the precision at one inch because this isn't a very accurate model we just want to get a ballpark on these dimensions so we can then just start setting up all of these dimension lines so that quick and easy we can go from a blank piece of paper to a very detailed site plan that's been totally dimensioned so you can add as many or as little dimensions as you like now we can also go to our scrapbooks and here we can throw on a north arrow we can throw on a graphic scale let's throw that up here and then we can also go to some of our other drawing references and we can throw on a title block so very quickly we can generate that that eight and a half by eleven scaled site plan now let's take a look at how we can add some other more detailed plans or enlarged plans so we'll go to our pages and let's call this guy site plan and then we'll make a duplicate of that page and then I'm just going to erase out these dimensions and, and annotations that we don't need and let's call this one enlarged plan 1 and then we're just going to use our selection tool scoot this guy in the top right corner stretch it out and we'll right click and reset our scale to be 1 inch equals 20 feet we'll try that now at this point I can double click hold down shift and I can kind of scoot this guy around uh, looks like we need to try something more like 1 inch equals 30 feet so we'll try that guy and that's pretty close perfect so now we have our site plan enlarged to 1 inch equals 30 feet and we can also jump into our pages palette again and let's duplicate let's call this enlarged plan 2 and this one we're going to double click in here and just scoot it so we can see the bottom so now we're all set up with our three pages we have our site plan with some general uh, dimensions on there and then we also have our site plan where we can begin to sketch around to finish up the process we can just go to our file menu and either choose export PDF or we can simply print it straight from layout onto an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper so that is a technique for importing a site from Google Earth, tracing out that building footprint in SketchUp, and then setting it to an architectural scale on an 8.5 by 11 sheet in layout. And using these techniques, you'll save yourself a lot of time and hassle when you get out in the field and start making those as-built drawings. So once again, thanks for joining us for our Bright Idea video series. Again, my name is Mike Brightman with Bright Ideas Consultants. You can check us out online at www.brightideasconsultants.com. There you can sign up for a free SketchUp 101 class. And until then, stay tuned for the next Bright Idea.